Hello everybody and welcome back to another new vlog. Thank you for joining me once again and welcome to Coventry Cathedral. Um, I absolutely love this place purely and simply because firstly it's brilliant, um, fantastic place to come and have a look at. I've been here a few times before but I've um, never actually vlogged it before so this is the first time I've tried that. And it is quite busy, there's a fair few people around so I'm going to give it a try anyway. But um, what I like about Coventry Cathedral is slightly different to many other cathedrals in that during the Second World War it was bombed and after the Second World War they decided to rebuild the cathedral and actually what you've got here is the remains of the old cathedral pre-bombing um, and then literally right next to it there's the uh, brand new, very impressive cathedral that was built in the 1950s. Um, we're going to take a look around here first of all. This is the remains and the ruins of the original cathedral. So you can see here that there's no roof on the place. Um, and basically this is essentially what was left over after it was bombed in the Second World War. Um, and there's been one or two repairs done to it to try and make it safe for people to have a look around and enjoy. But apart from that, it's been pretty much left as it was left after the Second World War. Now there is a very impressive tower just behind me that you can see just there. Um, you can go up in the tower, but there is a small fee for that, which I think is about four pound. Um, I have been up myself before. I don't think I'll be going up today because it doesn't really tell you very much about the cathedral itself once you get to the top of there um, but it's quite an interesting little walk up there climbing up a spiral staircase over 200 steps to get to the top of that um, there's also a museum which you can see the entrance to just behind me uh, which is called the Blitz Museum that's not open at the moment but one day it might be worth going and having a look in there but for now what I'm going to try and do is take a few shots around the old part of the cathedral um, and show you some of those and then I'm going to walk across to the uh, new part of the cathedral. That is free to get in um, so I'm going to have a look around there but um, that's also very very interesting there's a lot of things in there that are well worth looking at and things that I want to show you when I get in there but first of all the old part of the cathedral. Now, there's a sculpture just here, right in front of me, which is simply entitled Reconciliation. Um, I'll show you a picture of it now on screen so you can see what I'm talking about. But I'd really like to read for, from the description of this sculpture, something that's kind of caught my attention a little bit, and I think you'll quite like it as well. Um, it says here that the sculpture reminds us that in the face of destruction, human dignity and love will triumph over disaster and bring nations together in respect and peace. And I think that pretty much sums up what has happened really since the Second World War way back in the 1940s. And obviously it's great that they've left this old part of the cathedral standing as it was left at the end of the Second World War um, as a testament to remind us of that. But I just love that little passage there from the, this sculpture. Hope you like the image. This cross just behind me is very, very interesting. I was just reading a little bit of information about that. Um, after the uh, cathedral was bombed during the Second World War, the following morning after the bombing raid, um, somebody came into the ruins of the cathedral and discovered two roof beams that had been charred and brought to the ground in the bombing um, and this cross here is the original roof beams um, that of course is a replica because the beams themselves are too delicate to be left out in the elements like this but that is a perfect replica of the original beams the roof beams that were charred in the uh, bombing during the second world war 
and that's why I quite like that image there. I'm going to take a walk now to the new cathedral that was built in the early 1950s after the Second World War. Um, and I'm going to keep the camera rolling so you can see just how close it is to where the old cathedral is. So as you can see I'm walking out now just out of the old cathedral and down the steps. And you just watch just how close it is to the new, newly built cathedral which, as you can see, is just behind me right there. So I think that's a real great testament to the importance of the original cathedral itself. Just as you come into the entrance at the uh, new cathedral, you can see on your left-hand side this little opening here, which leads us into the Chapel of Unity. And it's a space where all Christians of different denominations can come and um, celebrate their differences and pray in the different ways that they do. Uh, and it says just on this plaque here behind me that difference um, can, promote, can provide challenges, but also it can provide respect and understanding of one another. And I think that's quite an interesting point to make in a place like this. The more time that you spend here in Coventry Cathedral, particularly the new part, you discover lots and lots of little chapels at various different wings of the cathedral. Um, and they've all got their own special meaning. But just behind me here, remember I mentioned the charred cross outside, which was a replica. Well, there is the original. Just as you come into the entrance of the new cathedral just here, instead of turning left and heading towards the Chapel of Unity, why not turn right and have a look at that beautiful stained glass window behind me? That's quite impressive, isn't it? If you know of a better stained glass window anywhere, or if you've even got a picture of one, just post a comment in the comments box below and let me know, because I think that's really, really impressive. I'm going to try and take a couple of photos of that, but also dotted around the cathedral, there are smaller pieces of stained glass window, probably the same height, but very narrow, just dotted around all over the place that kind of really work well with that particular window there. So I'll take a few shots of this. So that was Coventry Cathedral. Um, I decided it was a good idea to light a candle before I left. Uh, and um, I'm a Catholic, so I was just kind of doing that for um, the sake of prayer. Also, did you notice the boulder just in front of that stained glass window? Um, that apparently was brought here from a rock overlooking, on a hillside overlooking Bethlehem. So that was quite interesting as well. Hope you've enjoyed the vlog. If you have, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And also, please remember to subscribe to the channel. And I look forward to seeing you again on another vlog very soon. Bye for now.